When the Yes team realized COVID was coming, this was in early March and saw the lockdowns uh, around the world, we realized lockdown was coming to South Africa. We immediately started getting our partners into gear. We work as a platform business on how we could connect corporates into communities to be able to keep businesses like the one you see behind you going. It simply means we had to repurpose and start making masks just so we can be able to sustain ourselves and also sustain jobs. We are really grateful to corporate um, funders just like APSA who came to the party and say, okay, we, can you please make masks for us? That kept us sustainable and we're able to create more jobs. As us, we are a breadwinners in our families. So APSA helps us a lot. So we thank APSA and we wish APSA can give us more masks. With the corporates coming through and uh, giving us various uh, deals to, to produce masks, we were able to uh, sustain ourselves and sustain our various own businesses. So the collaboration with the corporates, myself and Icarus, has become a great saving grace. This uh, APSA project, you know, it helped us a lot because we kept on, you know, going, you know, we had something you know, to eat, to pay our rents because uh, it was tough because a lot of youth, you know, they lost their jobs, but us, we are just, we kept on working and earning some money, so thanks a lot. Yeah. CMT businesses like this are responsible for incredible innovation, beautiful design like the outfit I'm wearing now from Icarus Twilight and Imami Design. Um, and these orders that we were able to create uh, through the Masks for All project saw, yes, aggregating seamstresses across the country to our partner youth at work on the ground. Uh, corporates came to the party, placed orders. Uh, these orders were to supply their own businesses, but also very importantly in the case of ABSA, uh, allowing these masks to be supplied to communities. So a real double win. We train young students across Gauteng, I'm from Soweto, Tembisa, uh, Oreli Farm, all over the place. So we, we want to improve the um, lifestyles of our youth through sewing, through projects like this where we can take young people, give them a skill, a skill set that they can be able to employ or be employ other people in terms of opening their own sewing shops, uh, small shops in the location. That's the biggest thing that we, have, we want. And with the help from various companies, we can be able to do it and sustain the guys that you see behind me working. Since uh, March of this year, people have been working and a bit of money and feeding their families through the help of this and and then when we started here, there is somebody who made them mask. And then I started to arrange all the students and other people to come here, even the ladies who is from this place, to come and do the mask. Since we do the mask, we are here. We are doing mask right now. So EPS has done over 30,000 masks through the YES program, through the Mask School program. Uh, not only is it supporting incomes in businesses like this, but very importantly, masks are going out to communities that ABSA has been supporting in a variety of ways and the masks project helps young people get back into training, helps scholars get back into school classrooms uh, and a range of other community organizations are benefiting from these masks enabling them at work. So thank you ABSA, not only are you doing this amazing work through the Masks for All project, but ABSA are also supporting over 3,500 jobs through YES. This is incomes going into communities to people like this across the country.